What's up everyone? Nick Kiger here, Kiger Strength. Welcome to another week here. It is Monday, about 5.30 p.m. in the afternoon, in case you were wondering. But anyway, I'm back from Tennessee. I got back a couple days ago. I was visiting Pete. As always, had a great time. Pete's a great guy, really fun to train with, really fun to hang out with. And um, I'm gonna have to make it down there again soon because it is the definition of PR city. So PRs drop when you go there. But anyway, today on tap we have a deadlift workout. I'll talk a little bit more about that later. Um, have some changes that we're making going forward in terms of deadlifts, a little bit of a tweak with some technique stuff. I'll discuss that later, but anyway, gonna, Probably go after I have one more meal, uh, kind of avoid, you know, that rush hour. But anyway, let's get this going. All right, so I forgot to mention that I also did a small grocery shop this morning. Nothing major, got some boring stuff like ground beef and rice. I won't bore you with that, but I just wanted to show you two pretty interesting things that I got. I think you'll like, and they're definitely worth a pickup. So let me turn this camera around and show you. So here we have item number one, Reese's Puffs. Not much explaining to do here. Um, excellent cereal. You probably heard of it, probably tried it, but I highly recommend these. I give these like an 8.5 out of 10. So these are awesome. Pick these up next time you're at the store. And item number two is this Minute Maid Light 15 light mango passion fruit drink. So this is awesome. So only 15 calories per eight ounce serving. If you can see that, let me zoom that in. See that right there? But this is taste stuff tastes amazing. Tastes just like regular juice. So highly recommend you look for that. Definitely pick those two things up. You will not be disappointed. I guarantee it. All right, everyone. I just wanted to quickly give you my Snapchat and Periscope accounts in case you wanted to give those a follow. So my Snapchat is, I'll put it at the bottom of the screen. It is BigMeach1253. And my Periscope, I'm pretty new to, but I'm trying to, it's what the cool kids are doing, I know. So I'm trying to kind of get better at that. But it is just at Kiker Strength. So anyway, if you get a chance, go give those two a follow. That would be great. So I will see you at the next stop. All right, the thing about working out late is you gotta kinda stay caffeinated all day. So this is my second iced coffee of the day. So it is 6.30 p.m. right now. So you kinda gotta stay drunk on coffee from the time you wake up to the time you train. So all day, how I like it. But um, anyway, so this should be a good workout, guys. Welcome to the commentary. So today's deadlift workout was a little different. Today was all about making some small adjustments in form and the setup on the deadlift um, to hopefully improve some issues that I've been having with the lockout. Um, and in Tennessee, we kind of, Pete and I kind of realized that um, I was getting a little loose in my starting position. I wasn't um, locking the lats in. I wasn't dropping my hips enough. And that was just causing all kinds of problems on the lockout. Um, I was struggling to lock out weights. As you saw in that PR attempt was an epic grinder when it could have just been an easy lockout if my setup had been on point. But anyway, so today I was really working on taking my time between each rep before each rep and making each rep perfect. So really locking in those lats, getting that spine neutral before I attempted each lift. 
So the top set today only worked up to 365 pounds, and I was doing pause for a second or two at the knee, which is the spot where it kind of dies on me usually when I was in the past. Um, and what you're going to notice is as I get more tired as the uh, and on these top sets and as I get more tired in the other sets, you're going to notice I start to round more and more. And this is, this is expected. Um, this is kind of a new, uh, I've been used to pulling a certain way for a long time. And this is going to take some adjustment. So as you can see here, I start to round over um, as the I get to the final reps. But um, overall, I'm happy with the way it looked for the most part. I just have to keep practicing with these perfect reps. And over time, uh, the adjustments will take place. And one other misconception about the deadlift that I hear all the time regarding the lockout is people are always saying, oh, my lockout's so weak, I need to train my lockout, this and that about my lockout. But no, that's not the case at all. Your setup's horrible. That is why your lockout's so bad. You put yourself at such a mechanical disadvantage by rounding over so much, by staying so loose at the beginning of the movement that there's no physical way for you to lock the weights out. You're just in such a compromised position that you can't go anywhere. So um, that's just one thing I hear all the time and it's such a misconception. People thinking their lockout's weak when really just their setup is needs so much work. So um, that's what I'm really trying to focus on now improving that setup that way everything else kind of the the dots connect from there and everything runs a little more smoothly